Hi friends, as you may be aware that Alcon has recently launched a new FECO machine, which is called the Unity FECO machine, the Unity machine. And, um, you know, as not much of information is there, Alcon has just recently launched, not much of user experience is there on this FECO machine. I thought of making this quick, you know, video on what could be some improvements or some new uh, you know features that you may be seeing in the unity over the existing centurion vision system so the there are two systems over here the unity vcs and the unity cs the unity vcs is an anterior and posterior system so it's a combined one while the unity cs is anterior only it's just the peco multiplication machine the first thing I find over here is 4T FECO, as you can see over here in this panel, 4T FECO. And the top consultants of Alcon talk about 4T FECO. And I am a little curious of trying to understand, you know, what 4T FECO means, because this was not there in the Centurion Vision system. So let's uh, try to understand what is 4T FECO from the consultant. Now on the other side of it is the 4D FACO. The 4D FACO is a movement of the fingertip. It's really on the multidimensional and um, again, one would think that there's not much improvement we can have from the centurion, but this has increased efficiency of nuclear fragment um, removal by more than two times. So improving the fragment removal by more than two times so what this means is that you know previously with the centurion you could mix the longitudinal with the torsional right and you could make different combinations of it 80 percent torsional 20 percent longitudinal or 50 percent torsional 50 percent longitudinal well that option still remains under the continuous option over here but if you activate the 4d 4d FECO, that control will go from the surgeon and there will be a preset algorithm that takes over so that will actually mix the longitudinal to torsional according to you know there will be a preset algorithm and uh, the, the doctor doesn't have to mix the longitudinal to the uh, <clears throat> torsional it will actually be uh, you know uh, pre-mixed so it will actually come with a fixed longitudinal and a fixed torsional now the next is uh, the feature of thermal sentry. I mean, you know, this is kind of thermal safety to your wound. Now we know that continuous use of power can lead to wound burn, right? Thermal injury. Now this machine, the Unity machine has a new feature by way of which it can sense that the wound is heating and therefore it can temporarily decrease the ultrasound power, right? So how does it do that? Alcon has to come out with, uh, you know, some explanations on this. As I said, this is a very new machine. Not much of explanation is there. But how it may do that probably is by sensing that the irrigation flow is less and that the power has been used. The surgeon has been using the power for some time now. So it might sense that this might lead to wound heating you know and therefore it can decrease the ultrasound power remember it is talking of ultrasound power it is not talking of torsional power so question remains over here if we know that torsional may not lead to that amount of wound heating but would it also be activated in torsional uh, you know in case of that the torsional is going on for a long time and there is less of irrigation flow cooling the teeth FECO teeth so will that be also activated that remains to be answered Now the next is the incision size setting here. Um, now if you is if you input your incision size over here, what uh, the unity will do is actually it will sense the pressure losses. That is irrigation pressure minus the aspiration pressure. So any pressure losses it will sense and it will compensate for the any leakage uh, you know in the incision size but that was already there in with the centurion uh, with the active sentry hat case uh, that was already there 
and the way it did was uh, this IOP error versus inquisition leakage on the y-axis you have the IOP error which is uh, basically the difference between the irrigation pressure and the aspiration pressure and this is the compensation that is going to happen once such difference in IOP is actually uh, you know sensed by the irrigation pressure sensor so for every drop in five uh, milli for for every drop in IOP say five millimeters per mercury drop in IOP there will be so much of fluid that will be injected or the irrigation pressure will uh, pressure will actually be increased so coming to the tips uh, you know the tips were already there with the active century uh, with the centurion so you had the balance tape of 30 degree 45 degree that's the those were the options you also had the hybrid tip now the hybrid tip has a polymer uh, cap at the distal end so that uh, you do not break the posterior capsule it provides you a safety net so that's also now available with the unity both unity and the centurion active sentry hand pieces and so far as the sleeves is concerned you have the ultra nano and the micro sleeves for this incision sizes and lastly uh, with regard to the anterior vitrectomy you have a cut rate of 4000 which is also available in the centurion you will hear in some places they're talking about 30,000 cut rates but that is for the posterior vitrectomy right thank you very much i look forward to uh, bring you more updates on this new machine from alcon on the unity feco machine and uh, till such time goodbye